Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Wi-Fi not showing on Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. If your Wi-Fi is not working, I can't really understand this pain. You're trying to do your work, you're getting late for your school or your work or anything. It's really very painful if we don't have the internet. So we are going to fix this in a very few simple steps and I'm sure you will be able to fix it. And guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe once you fix your problem. So the very first step here, we just need to do a right click in the start icon and then go to device manager. So this is the step by step process. Please make sure you do the sequence wise. So here I'll just maximize it. And here we are looking for network adapters. Uh, once you now find it, look for your wireless adapter. So here I have found that Intel wireless. In your case, you might be using the Realtek or any other Wi-Fi adapter. So I'll just do a right click and I'll click on update driver. Once you do that, it will give you two options and we will try both the options. I'll let you know how. So the very first option is to search automatically. And if it's getting updated, that's really great because it will also fix the problem and if it says the best driver for your device are already installed, not a problem. We will click, I mean, we will close it and we will do a right click again and click on update driver. And this time we will select browse my computer for drivers. Now here we need to select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. So I'll click on that. Now here you might have uh, different adapters so I would recommend to go one by one so you can select the top one click on next and see if that works for you if that doesn't come back here and select the second one and then click on next and see if you have got the network bars and the Wi-Fi option in your Windows 11 laptop or a desktop once you are done you can also restart and see if your Wi-Fi is working on your computer. And if it's not, we will move to the next step. So the next step is to do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. And here we will type ncpa.cpl. Once you have typed it, click on OK. Now you will have many options. So here, since we are using uh, Wi-Fi, so you just need to do a right click and you need to click on disable. Now, the moment you disable it, it might take two to three seconds to disable. And once you see it is disabled, either you can do a double click or you can do a right click to enable it. Now, the moment you do so, you will have your network connection right here. And you can connect your internet. And you can also go to settings, I mean, just do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And here we have this network and internet. And here we have advanced network settings. So I will click on that. And here we have this network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. This is also a good way to fix the problem because it will make your computer back to the original settings and then you just need to connect to your Wi-Fi again. You might have to enter, I mean, connect to your Wi-Fi again. You just need to select your Wi-Fi and uh, see if you're getting 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. You can check that. I have uh, made a video on that, how to uh, have a 5 gigahertz network or 2.4 gigahertz network. So if you have 5.5 gigahertz network, you can connect to your Wi-Fi and it should work stable and you won't have any issues. And we will move to the next step if this just doesn't work. Here in the search icon, type CMD and please make sure you click on Run as Administrator. Once you do that, it will ask you to say yes. And here you will see C Windows System 32 and here we need to type flush space forward slash. I'm sorry, it's ipconfig. A lot of commands I need to remember. 
So it's ipconfig space forward slash slash DNS. I'll just maximize it so that you can type it. So as the name suggests, it's going to flush the DNS and you just need to hit enter and then type exit and hit enter and see if your Wi-Fi working fine or not. If you still have Wi-Fi issues, restart the computer and see if that works for you. And if it doesn't, then click on search icon and type Windows Update. Now, once you click on Windows Update, here you have this check for latest updates. And if you have any pending update available, just like me, I have one. So you just need to click on download and install. Because in most of the cases, when you update your windows, most of the Wi-Fi, sound, audio, these problem gets fixed. So please do not ignore that. Update your windows if you haven't done that. All right. Once you're done, if still you have issues, I would recommend to close that and do a right click or go to the manufacturer side. And if you have a, a real tech or Wi-Fi, just take the name of your um, Wi-Fi adapter. So I'll go to device manager and I'll go to network adapter. I'll, I'll take the name. So I'm just giving an example how you can download the Wi-Fi adapter for your computer. So I see Intel Wireless AC9560. So I'll type exactly the same, Intel Wireless AC9560. Wi-Fi driver. So here you see, I have typed exactly the same. I have seen it. And you see, I have Intel Wireless in AC9560. And I can download for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So from here, you can download the adapter. In your case, you might be using Realtek or any other um, you know, model number. But the process will remain same. And please make sure you visit the uh, manufacturer website like Intel, Realtek, Dell, HP, Lenovo, like that. Please do not visit any other unknown websites. All right. So these are the things which you can do. Download the latest Wi-Fi adapter, and it will definitely fix the problem. If you still have issues, you can let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to fix your problem. And guys, if you want to enable 5 gigahertz in your Wi-Fi, just if you want to check whether your router and the computer supports 5 gigahertz instead of 2.4 gigahertz, watch this tutorial. And if your computer is running slow, you can watch the tutorial that as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I really need your support. Have a wonderful day. Take care.